Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. You know what? I wasn't gonna win anyway. This whole space is new. We actually just put this together over the last week and we're finally here. I've been working out of my house ever since we built it about a year and a half ago in my basement studio. Since then, over the last few months, we've actually expanded. We've grown to a team. We have this space now. A lot has changed in a very short period of time. It's crazy just to see the evolution of this whole building. If you remember a few months ago, you might've seen the vlog where I walked through this building for the first time. It is completely different. We had those rust colored floors that were just awesome awful, the cream walls, it was not at all what it looks like today. So we invested honestly just a ton of time, money to get this to where it is right now. And I think it's actually come together really nicely. So we opened up Studio Cowork. It's a collection of eight desks available to rent, plus three, my desk, Kate and Trevor. It's a co-working space for creators to actually come in, have a desk to work at. The desk is yours. You can put your monitor on there. You can record in the podcast room. You can record on the psych wall. You can edit here. You play some ping pong. You can squat up with the boys if you want to. We want to create just an awesome place for creators to come and collaborate. So I have a second setup here that we're gonna get to in just a second, but I also wanna show you real quick Cade's setup. Cade is my social media guy. He has just the Goliath of a setup. Two big screens, big desk. Look at you, man. This is great. So that's Cade and then Trevor's setup. Where's Trevor? Hey, bud. What are you typing? Hey, that's my MX Mechanical Mini from Logitech. By the way, this video is sponsored by Logitech. So the keyboard and mouse I've been using since we moved into the space is the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini and then the Logitech MX Master 3S. So this is actually just a uh, upgrade from the MX Master 3. They're actually very similar, just you know, slightly different color scheme. This is more of an off-white. And the real difference, honestly, you don't see it, but you can hear it. So here's the old one. Here's the new one. <laughs> so honestly, this took me like a minute to get used to how quiet it is, but I've learned to love it. It's actually really, really nice that it's quiet. Ironically, what's not quiet is the new keyboard because this is a mechanical keyboard, if you can hear this. Hard to ignore that. And actually, I've been loving this thing. I've, I've used low profile keyboards for a while. But there's something about this, it just kind of combines that low profile aesthetic, and then you obviously have you know the mechanical switches. So if you're into mechanical keyboards, you probably know that there's different types of switches. I went with the brown switch on this one. This is just a little bit more tactile, and it's actually quieter than the other two switches the Logitech offers. They have a red and a blue switch as well. So with the brown switch, you get kind of the best of both worlds where it is that classic, you know, mechanical keyboard sound, but it's not like crazy loud. So one of the big reasons I love Logitech and why I've stuck with them for so long is because of the customization. So they have a great piece of software. It's super minimal, but it actually lets you customize each of the buttons on your mouse. On the keyboard, I haven't really made any adjustments except for the back lighting because you can change the different effects, what happens when you actually hit the backlighting. If you want it to have a wave effect, a reaction effect when you hit the key, you can change that here. It's obviously important to have some customization on the keyboard, but for me, for the most part, everything lies with the mouse. That's how I switch between stuff so quickly. Guys, if you want to learn about one or both of these products, hit the link in the description, logitech.com. You can check it out. But let's jump in into the rest of this setup. Now, because I put my team in here, I figured I'd get a desk for myself as well. Uh, I do still edit at my home studio because it's just cozy. I have all my stuff there. My main editing computer is still there. But I needed like a secondary setup that I could use for primarily just pre-production, planning things out. Just kind of a simple setup away from home. So honestly, this isn't anything complicated like desk setup wise. It's just an Ikea desk, uh, drawers, chair from Amazon. The heart of the setup is actually just a M1 Mac MacBook Air, nothing crazy. I really like this device actually because it's good for just general like workflow type things. It's not the most amazing editing computer. It can handle a few things you want to throw it at it. But overall, I love it because it's it's just thin, it's light, super easy to travel with. And so while I'm here, I just plug it in via USB-C into this monitor. This is actually the Samsung CHG9. It's an ultra wide 49 inch uh, diagonal screen. It's honestly really nice for just general work 
workflow type stuff. It's not my favorite for editing. I'm not doing any editing here, so that's not a big deal. If I were doing editing here, I'd probably want to add on another monitor on top just so I can have a screen specifically for playback. Also got the uh, BTW branded desk mat. These aren't for sale. I just got a sample back when I was looking at desk mats. So that's kind of fun to have that. And we got our headphones, uh, headphone stand. This is from Grove Made. Plant. This is not my plant. Did you put this here? <laughs> All right. I got a plant now, I guess. I have another plant over here. I guess they're both Ikea. So that's fun. And then my Easter Island head. I don't know why this has just become not really, not like a signature item in setups that I have. And then Super 8 camera. Um, actually, this is broken. It's kind of useless. So now it just gets to sit on the desk as a prop. So as far as desks for the co-working space, uh, these are Ikea desks as well. Just you know, standard Ikea does with legs. We got the same Alex drawers in a darker color here. We have a couple people with monitors set up already. A lot of people just come with laptops. We do have a few desks still available. If you do want to snag a desk, let me know. I almost forgot to, we do have the hangout area over here. Got a couple couches from Ikea, leather couch, fabric couch, uh, coffee table, got a love sack, got our nearly natural plant in the corner, and then TV, Xbox. Actually off camera, while we were filming, I saw my guy die. I was floating in the water and someone shot me from behind. So if you're the 12 year old that killed me on Fortnite, you're not cool. Also got the ping pong table. I bet you 20 bucks I could beat you in a game right now. You wanna go? Okay, let's go. Guys, thanks for watching this video. This is the most random bit we've probably ever done. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.